A strange new crime trend. Criminals are stealing medication that's meant for your pets. CBS2 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is live at Huntington Beach Business that was just targeted this morning. Stacy. Yeah, Pat, they've repaired the door, the glass door here behind me, but you can see the spot where the rock went through that door and right into the front counter. The vet here told me in 30 years, he's never seen anything like this. They have a hood on, they have uh, looks to be black gloves on, some type of cardboard box in their hands. When Dr. Andrew Lewis's pet hospital was broken into last month, he couldn't believe what he saw on security tape. A thief after one thing. The thief ran off with $8,000 in flea meds. Dr. Lewis's clinic wasn't the only one hit. Early this morning, just a few miles away, someone threw a rock through the front door of Dr. Maurice Lee's pet clinic. Come here early in the morning, then down. everything upside down. The thief then jumped behind the counter and stole all the flea meds he could carry. It's happened a lot lately, they say. Customers like Sherry Tejudin saw a post on the burglar on Facebook. It's pretty low. I don't think it can get much lower than that. Last year, in the same area, another veterinarian who runs this vet clinic said a man in a mask cut a hole through the outside of his building, broke into his office where he kept his meds, and stole $30,000 in the flea medications Brevecta and Revolution. Police around the country are seeing more of these flea med thefts. They say it may sound strange, but the meds are so expensive, averaging over $100 a box, that thieves are making a killing, selling them possibly on Craigslist or at flea markets for half the price. And one vet told me that he's seen more and more people come in. Uh, they have given some mysterious flea meds to their dogs. They got at a flea markets, and they're having some strange and toxic reactions. So just be careful where you're getting your flea meds. In the meantime, if you have any information about any of these cases, Huntington Beach Police would like to hear from you. That's the latest from Huntington Beach. Back to you guys in the studio. Good advice, Stacey.